Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today it looks like your motherboard could support PCI Express 4.0. Intel CPUs get a serious performance loss with MDS. Sony and Microsoft become buddies and Google Stadia is powered by what? But first, check out the Gamer Meld Discord server, a community for hardware and gaming enthusiasts to come, hang out, ask questions, or just talk tech. And May's Rig of the Month competition is all about the best air-cooled PCs. So submit your build at discord.gg slash gamermeld or visit the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time and during the last couple months, motherboard makers have been sending out updates to get their boards ready for AMD Zen 2 based Ryzen CPUs. And recently, Gigabyte did something that we'd mostly only speculated on. During CES, AMD stated that older motherboards may be able to support PCI Express 4.0 since they won't restrict the feature, but it's up to motherboard manufacturers. Well, recently found and shared on Reddit, in Gigabyte's most recent BIOS update, the company added the option to enable PCI Express 4.0 for their X470 Aorus Gaming Wi-Fi 7 motherboard. As for the amount of support, it's not fully clear what ports will or won't support the faster speeds, but it'll obviously require a Zen 2 CPU and the lanes provided by the chipset likely won't support it. What's even more interesting out of this is that it probably won't just be the higher end X470 boards, as Momomo recently tweeted a photo that shows support for the new standard on a B450i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. Basically, a lot of users may soon get support for some seriously fast drives. Next up for today, more and more bad news is coming out regarding the MDS security flaws in Intel CPUs. This time we're seeing some major performance impacts for Linux users. For those who don't know about the MDS security flaws, make sure to see my video on the topic that I'll have linked right here. In a series of tests done by Foronix with MDS mitigation enabled, while there wasn't a performance difference in games, more professional workloads were affected, with Intel CPUs seeing an overall performance loss of 16%, while AMD lost only 3 And on a quick note, I'm not really sure what mitigations were done on AMD's side since they seem to be immune to MDS, but it's likely some of the Spectre mitigations from before. Either way, a 16% hit isn't anything to laugh at, and it seems this went across all the CPUs Pharonix tested, including the 8700K and 9900K, proving those who keep saying 8th and 9th gen chips aren't affected wrong. With that said, Intel themselves have only said select 8th and 9th gen chips aren't affected, and other researchers are saying that they definitely are. Either way, there's a chance your CPUs could be losing some serious performance soon, at least in Linux. And hopefully we'll have Windows numbers soon as well, I definitely wanted to do it myself, but I don't have newer Intel CPUs to test just yet. With that said, I'll likely be changing that soon. Oh, and don't forget that this is without hyper-threading disabled, which some major companies are saying is needed to be fully secure against the new flaws. Not good. Not good at all. Next up for today, the stars have aligned as Sony and Microsoft recently announced a partnership. Yeah, first we saw AMD and Intel shaking hands on a project, and now Microsoft and Sony? Wow. Anyway, there aren't many details, but apparently they will, quote, explore joint development of future cloud solutions in Microsoft Azure to support their respective games and content streaming services, as well as collaborate on semiconductors, image sensors, and AI. Hey, maybe we'll get a cross-platform connect. N no? Okay, you're right. I couldn't ever get Xbox One to work anyway. Lastly for today, we pretty much know the hardware powering Google Stadia, the cloud-based game streaming platform coming later this year. The developer of the Vulkan API listed Google Stadia under its list of GPUs that support Vulkan, and in the description it lists GCN version 1.5, which is AMD's graphics core next architecture. Well, we're currently on version 1.5.1, which is for 7 nanometer Vega, meaning Google Stadia is likely using some custom version of their first generation Vega architecture. Yeah, that's first generation 14 nanometer process Vega. Talk about a little surprising since Google is promising 4K 60fps and even 8K 120fps in the future. With that said, obviously these are custom GPUs and the games would likely be built for it so they could get fairly down to the metal, but still, surprising. We'll just have to wait and see if Google can keep their promise. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for widespread PCI Express 4.0 or are you just bummed by all the security flaws? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.